Hi everyone, it's Billy in the arena. Day 60. 60 days of 100 in the arena. I'm extremely tired. I'm exhausted. I woke up feeling like crap. It's almost 10.30. I just got home. Um, I was at... Hi Miranda. You're still awake. I guess you're waiting for Bogos. <laughs> um, I was at the Symphony of the Cells um, training today. Um, and it was the third time I've actually taken this training because it is incredible. The amount of knowledge this man, Boy Truman, has is just like, I just wish I could put his brain into my brain and know all this stuff in my, like, just off the top of my head because he's a wealth of knowledge. So, and of course, unfortunately, we can't, like, film it. So, hence why I took it three times um, and, you know, now, like, Every time I've done it, it's just sunken in. But this time, it actually looked all new because now it, it, he's got a different logo and all this. It was a little blue book before. This was um, this was actually the book of the protocols. Um, this book I actually bought like a stock of them to give away as incentives because it was so incredible. This the protocols that are in here. Um, but I never really gave many away because I don't think people really understood the power of what these protocols could do. Hey, Melissa, <laughs> I was just with you. Um, but the amount, and yeah, I almost forgot to do my live. I came home, I'm like, oh crap, and here I am. That's why I'm 10.30 and I look like I'm about to fall asleep. Um, but it, people didn't really understand the value of it, and that's why I think that's my fault, because hey, if someone comes up to you off the street and says, hey, do you want to, um, do you want a symphony of the cells protocol? And people would be like, symphony, what orchestra? What are you talking about? People wouldn't know what it means, right? But yeah, so Melissa, you understand now because you've been there, you understand the knowledge, the power of how nature can actually help, right? So that's what I just wanna talk about quickly. This is actually the application book and he goes into instructions on how you wanna do it. Basically, you just lie on a bed or, or a sofa or on the floor, wherever you want. And he just puts um, oils along the spine in succession. And I know I've talked this about this before that I did the basic protocol for my kids when they're sick. Um, and now I learned that, you know what, I'm a little bit more confident because now, yeah, it's the third time I've taken it, that I can do any of these on my kids. And I'm still a little like kind of gun shy about, oh, you know, is oregano going to be too much for them? Is, you know, like is tea tree... You know, if I put all these 10 oils on their back, is that too much? But no, it's not. Like, this is nature. It's not going to hurt you. Um, it might feel a little uncomfortable, but it's not going to kill you, right? Um, whereas, it's funny how people will go to the doctor and whatever they prescribe, they have no idea what's in this little pill and pop it in and they have no idea what it's doing to their body. Um, but basically, he goes into the instructions and then each... Um, it's funny this one opened up um there's even a forgiveness protocol so basically i'll tell you like step by step what to do frank almost all of them start with frankincense well this one starts with rose and geranium there's reasons for that um but almost all start with frankincense because frankincense is like well we've said this a million times it's the king of oils but um and you'll usually there'll be a citrus oil in there usually it'll be some kind of like um like peppermint or something at the end just to kind of drive it in um, but basically he has little icons and say, okay, this one goes on the neck, that's the nose, so you want to smell it, the feet, you want to put some on the feet. Um, and, you know, this time when I, I took the course, I really kind of paid attention to how I would prescribe these, not just the actual, like the first time I was like, okay, let's learn actually how to do it, you know, massaging. I'm comfortable with the actual application of it, but I wasn't as comfortable knowing when to do what and how often and all that kind of stuff and again his main message is don't be scared you know like they say yeah don't ingest cypress but you know he'll ingest it don't ingest this he'll still he'll still ingest it right it's not it's nature it's not going to hurt you um it might like i said sometimes it might not do anything there's no real purpose of it but it's not going to um in his words boy truman's words no one's ever gone to the emergency um, because of any of these protocols because they tell them like yeah you might feel crappy but that's because he called it waking up the beast you're waking up whatever it is that is needing to come out of your body whether it's emotional whether it's physical <laughs> amber oh boy yeah he's 
he's so funny or he's he's like this bald guy he's 50 something he's got eight kids and he's just he's he's a he's a riot um but now i know his jokes because i've been there three times but some of these these um protocols i'm just like this is at my fingertips i have all these oils now pretty much every single oil that in this book i have them so i really want to make like i have the knowledge i have the confidence in doing it but now i just need to practice so i want to just throw it out there and i've thrown it out to a couple you know jelly i think you're watching that let's do this on each other um whatever it is whether whether it's three things we can do three different protocols so like you know forgiveness is a huge one um and he talks about like it may not be forgive like oh forgive sally that you know said something mean about you in high school it's not that kind of forgiveness it's more of like what kind of um, emotions are you holding in from like childhood from the moment you were born um, any kind of emotion that really he, he said this and it, it made so much sense because when we I've talked about this before where the gut and the brain is really connected so sometimes when your emotions are like held down or you're stressed it comes out in physical pain um, and if you if you want to, um, sometimes if you're in pain, it's not because of a physical thing, it's because of an emotional thing. And he said he's had many instances and my, I think I can be confident to say that I have too, is that when I've done the forgiveness protocol, it's gotten rid of some pain because it manifests itself, right? And I think I heard this, um, oh, Eckhart Tolle at the Oprah said, uh, I think that was him, that pain that is not transformed is transmitted, right? So whether it's transmitted into your own body for in, in pain or it's transmitted, you know, on your kids or on your spouse or wherever, it's not a good thing, right? So you, we need to deal with the emotions and the forgiveness protocol. Um, I mean, you can do these on yourself. I can teach you how to do them on yourself. It's just nicer because if somebody else does it on you, get a little bit of a massage. Um, but frankincense, neroli, clove, melissa, juniper, berry, bergamot, and then the renewing blend, which is forgive. And then it starts with rose and geranium. Like the knowledge this man has of these oils and he just spews it like it's like nothing. Like, oh, geranium, you know, yeah, it'll clean out your liver and it'll do this or, it'll, you know. Oh, Miranda wants to volunteer to be a guinea pig. If you want, can come to my house three times a week and commit to it, it only takes like, well, if I don't talk about it, like six to seven minutes per protocol, but if you can come to my house, I will do these protocols on you because I want to practice. And this weekend I'm taking another uh, workshop for the second time called Quantum Touch Healing, where you heal with energy um, and putting those oils or the energy into the oils while you're doing this is so powerful. And that's kind of where I'm going with all this training and trying to get really um, confident in my own abilities and my own knowledge and confidence that this actually is working so that's why I need to practice on people um, so yeah if you can commit to coming to my house or somewhere um, because <laughs> I'm not lugging my two kids around uh, and yeah I would love to do ongoing um, symphony of the cells classes for anybody that's already in doTERRA if you're not just learn it's like I again unless you actually go there and experience it and hear the stories of people like getting like scoliosis and like I don't want to go into too many medical things but because of course we have to be compliant um the stories that he had was just like still I hear it for the third time and I'm like wow you know like people can heal themselves they just have to stop putting all the shit in their body right and that's food diet like we are what we eat it's true and I'm guilty I had some yam fries tonight um but anyways okay see I'm just blabbing now I'm so tired okay it's 25 minutes till BOGOs I'm gonna shower and get ready and then figure out what's happening for the last day of BOGOs it's been a, an insanely busy tiring week um but it's been a good week and uh I think a lot of people have um are, are starting to you know I had a friend message me and I was talking to her on the way home and she wanted some oils just for Christmas to smell nice and it was just a coincidence that today holiday piece was the bogo so it actually worked out but when I started telling her about she's like oh the doctor told me not to um, diffuse anything because her daughter's got an um, um, asthma and I was like now if only 
she knew what I knew and could see what I see and feel what I feel. But this is where the educa education piece comes in. And holy smokes, I, I, I wish I could like, I think I did like ver verbally vomit on her because she was like, all I wanted was like some Christmas oils to smell nice. And you know, I whatever, I'm talking about all this like therapeutic grade, blah, 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 medicinal and all this stuff. Anyways, people don't know. And that's where we come in. And until people actually have that experience and see it and, and like, you know, when they see that their kid's getting better without them having to take them to the hospital or give them medication, all that kind of stuff. That's, that's what made me a believer. And it, it, till this day, I mean, I'm still going to these trainings and it's still incredible. Amber Children's Hospital Asthma Clinic is on board with Easy Air, right? Like the doctors don't know. And it's, and we can't really blame the doctors because they don't get trained on this. Like there's no doctor. Actually, no, he has doctors like infectious disease doctors that are using his infectious disease protocol and they're finding that that's the only thing that's ever helped their patients. So again, doctors don't know. And that's where we have to really be like, that's why we're called wellness advocates, because we have to advocate for that, um, for, 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 to get that information out and say like, listen, there's a natural way. Pharmaceuticals, a lot of them come from plants and that, right? The, the God put these things on the earth for us. We were supposed to be self-sufficient. That's what it was meant. That's well, that's how I feel too. Um, that's how he felt, but I agreed that that's, you know, we don't need synthetic things, right? And that's what happens when we eat processed foods and our body just doesn't. One thing actually stuck out to me today that, again, I didn't pick up on the other ones was um, your, your body can only take so much crap. And if, like, you know, if I eat, like, I had some fish tacos and yam fries, sure, it's not going to kill me, right? But if I had that every single day and every single meal, my body's not going to be able to handle it because all those processed, like the foods and the oils and the, like the saturated fats, all that crap, you know, the sugar, it's, your body is not meant to, to, to have that kind of nutrition. Um, so that stuck out with me is that it, your body can only take so much. And that's when, that's why autoimmune, like he, he made a point, like when they don't know what it is, they kind of put it in this autoimmune category because that's kind of like a big question mark. Like, what is that? Um, so it, it, if people could just stop with the, let's just put the house back up without fixing the foundation. If they realize that you got to focus on the foundation instead of just putting the walls back up, then maybe people will take a step back and be like, okay, well, why don't I just try? It's not going to hurt me. Why don't I just try? Right? It's not going to, nobody's ever died, not that I know of, from using doTERRA's essential oils. I don't know about other companies. I can't speak for them. But as far as I know, from using oils, ingesting, all that kind of stuff, no one's ever had a, a reaction. Now, people that say they do have reactions, because people will say, oh, my skin broke out. He talked about this today, too, again, and I remember this from the other ones, was that it's because, like, there's, like, 30, 40 plus years of us putting crap in our body all the time, it's got to get out somewhere. And if it's not going out there, it's going to come out our skin. And that's why people will have reactions and their, their stomachs will hurt and they're like, they'll have bowel movements and things that they've not normally not had. And that is your body trying to get rid of all the nonsense that you've put in it for all these years. Right? So, um, and just like everything else, you can't just do it once or twice. I can't just go to the gym once or twice and be skinny, right? Hi, Neelam, how are you? Um, so you gotta, it's it's consistency, it's sticking with it. Try it, he's like, try every, anything for 21 days, right? Try anything if you're gonna do it for 21 days. And then if you, um, after that, you know what? Give it a good college try, whatever they say. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm still rambling and it's been, I've been talking way longer. I was going to talk for a few minutes. But if anybody wants to learn about Symphony of the Cells, um, I don't think he's coming back here. I think we convinced him to do, come to a level two next year at some point. But I don't think he's going to come back to Vancouver. But if you ever have a chance to go to Symphony of the Cells, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, and if you can't go to one um, and you want to learn about it or you want to try, like I said, I'm looking for some guinea pigs to try. And if you can get to me, Anila, I know you can't unless you come back to Vancouver. Um, if you can get to me, I would more than be happy to try any of them. 
Um, and usually we pick like the top three, but depending on what kind of um, issues are going on. And then, yeah, um, he wants, his challenge was for us to do it on 100 people in the next year, or at least 100 protocols, not necessarily 100 people, but um, like, I don't know how to do the math. 25 people and do four protocols on them. I don't know. Anyways, if you want to try, reach out to me and I'm going to sign off now because I'm just babbling because I'm extremely tired. So, and I'm going to go do my flu bomb because I'm still feeling like crap, but I made it through my day without pretty much sitting down and relaxing at all. And yeah, Melissa and turmeric and the flu bomb and on guard. Yes, I'm going to go rest now. Okay. Bye, lovely people. See you tomorrow.